just got this in. So this is the Hobbymate D6 Duo Pro. It is a DC only 650 watt 15 amp per channel smart battery charger. One of the things I want to emphasize right away is how small this thing is. Look at it. It fits basically in the palm of my hand. And just to show you further what this thing looks like, I'm going to zoom out here a little bit. And there we go. That's it on the bench. I know I have quite a messy bench, but look at it. It's really, it has such a low profile for a dual charger setup. But I want to go over this first because this is really important. To get the most value out of this charger, you need to use a power supply that is rated for at least 24 volts. However, I don't have one that's 24 volts. If you're like me and you have a uh, lower end power supply, you still can use this charger. The first thing you're going to want to do, whether you are using a battery that is lower than 24 volts, like a 4 cell battery, because you can power it from a battery too. As you can see back here, we've got an XT60 connector. You're going to want to go to the system menu. And to do that, I'm going to hold down this button here. And we're going to go down to system parameters. And we're going to change the minimum input voltage. Now, I've already changed that. But it comes at 22 volts. This is what it's set at by default, is something like 22 volts. I did see some people complaining that they would plug in a battery to use as a power source or a power supply that was less than 22 volts and they were getting an error about being unable to charge. You've got to go in here and you've got to change that. It's You, you can use a way low power supply if you want or as low as a two cell battery. It's just a matter of adjusting the voltage. If you are using a battery, you don't want to over discharge the battery. And this will allow you to prevent that from happening. The rest of this is all pretty much run of the mill. We've got all of our various options here for however you want to customize the basics, including the minimum, uh, the max input power, so that if you do have a power supply like this one, you won't exceed the 160 watts, even if you're able to meet the 24 volt requirement. But I've got a 700 watt, 750 watt power supply, 12 volt that this thing is hooked up to right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. You can also fully calibrate the charger as well if you would like to. Um, you do need to have a battery connected to do that, but your options for calibration are all there. I didn't find a need to do so. I have I compared it to my ISDT T8 charger, which I trust very much. I also compared it to some other chargers that I had, and I didn't find anything that was really off when it came to the balance. So I was very happy with the performance there right out of the box with the factory calibration. So let's actually get some charging going. I'm going to show you guys a massive pile of batteries here. A whole bunch of 1,300 milliamp hour batteries connected here. It detected it. It detected on channel 2 what kind of battery it was. You can use the channel button to cycle through the channels. And you hold down the channel button to access the specific channel settings. See, it picked up that they were LiPo batteries and I could set my current and everything. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start charging. We're gonna see just how much we can get over a 12 volt power supply. I know you guys can probably do the math with Watt's Law, but I'm just gonna show it the task. And here we go, we are charging there. Now here's what's awesome about having a charger like this, where if you had a one port charger, you'd never be able to do this. I've got my fat shark battery sitting over here. And check it out, it actually detected that we've got the two cells. I'm actually gonna go ahead and charge this battery at uh, 2C because it's a 2,500 milliamp hour battery. And start task. And now we can watch our charge on both of them. So with a 12 volt power supply, this is what you can probably expect. You're not going to see more than, you know, 12 to 11 amps on uh, each channel to get the most performance out of this thing. You've got to use a 24 volt supply, but as you can see, it is absolutely usable. You can probably hear that fan just a little bit if you 
got a big fan back there for cooling it. One little feature I think is nice is that mid-charge, we don't actually have to stop the current. We can just select the wheel and lower the current down while we're charging live if we decide. I don't want to charge that fast. I want to change that. And there you go. Just drops it right to 2.6 amps. The charger will give you all this kind of information here, like your resistance, which is great for determining the health of your battery. You know, charging is a very mundane task. We all have to do it. If you have drones, if you have RC cars, whatever, and you just want a charger that works. And this one works. It works well. The balance of the batteries, I'm very happy with that. The interface is easy to use. I, really, I, I don't have any complaints about this unit. I don't. The fan is not loud at all, in my opinion. I've had way, way louder fans, and I've had louder fans from products like this from Hobby Mate. The fans on this were pretty dang loud. So, they did a really, really good job on this one. I'm not gonna charge these batteries all the way up. I think that you guys get the idea. Uh, there is gonna be a temptation to press this button a lot when you first get it. Remember always, you need to use the channel key to select a channel and deal with anything to do with the channels. These things are more for, this one is for sliding through the menus. But I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Now another fantastic idea that I would like to promote when having a dual charger is that if you want, you can charge LIHV batteries on one channel while you're charging LiPo batteries on another channel. Now, in case you didn't know, uh, LIHV batteries, they charge up to 4.35 volts per cell, while the LiPos are only 4.2 volts per cell. So you can't mix LiPo and LIHV batteries on the same parallel charging board because yo, you don't want to overcharge them. So again, having the option to do the separation is fantastic. It means that I can take a balance board like this, see, and there we go, I've got some of these on there, and we can go to channel one, and we can select from the menu instead of LiPo. Now, I can't really detect that you have an LIHV unless the voltage is already above 4.3 volts per cell. One thing to keep in mind is that you're going to have to change the battery type from LIPO to LIHV, which isn't a bad thing because, well, at least if you charge a LIHV battery as a LiPo, you're not going to burn your house down. So we'll just put it as a 1.2 amp charge rate and start the task. Yeah, it's actually going to it's actually going to ask you, is the battery really LIHV? And you can answer, yes, it is. So isn't that great? We've got high voltage batteries on the one side, we've got our regular LiPos on the other side, nice and safe. You can actually create yourself a little habit and say, yeah, I'm gonna charge my LIHVs on here and my LiPos on here. And uh, you know, I just really like the separation. It really helps to compartmentalize your, your battery charging. Just a little idea for you guys. Um, finally, I guess, you, if you didn't notice this little uh, thing up here, this is the wireless charging pad. You can literally plop your phone down on the top of here and you've got a wireless phone charger. Uh, that's not a feature that I'm probably going to be using very often, but I think it's really, really cool. It certainly adds value to the whole little package here by Hobby Man. All right, that's it guys. That is my review of the Hobbymate D6 Duo Pro 650 watt DC smart charger with 15 amps per channel. I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, if you liked the video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, you know where that button is. And uh, as for me, well, hope you guys have a great day and I'm gonna go do some charging.